Hello everyone. I hope you can't hear my airplane engine of a computer in the background. <laughs> We're working with 90s technology over here. But it is good to be back. I can talk about it some other time, I guess, if anybody cares. But for today's video, I'm doing something I wanted to do for a long time, and that's painting my vision board. I love vision boarding, love creating goals for the new year. I think I'm one of the few people who actually like New Year's, although I have seen a ton more people doing things like vision boards. I think that's amazing. For this video, I wanted to do something kind of different. I love going on Pinterest, creating these vision boards based off specific goals I have. So I wanted to do this with paint. So as you can see in my OneNote, nothing fancy, just came with my computer. I made a little um, chart of all of the pictures that I want to do and oil paintings that have inspired my kind of image I have for these paintings. Um, and I guess I can talk about my specific goals that relate to these pictures. They seem kind of random and they are. To be honest, I have a lot more goals than just these six images represent, but I wanted to also paint images that challenged me artistically and boy did that happen. I was very challenged, especially with this picture. It's supposed to be kitchen in Eastern Europe. I know that's super specific, but that's where I'm from. So I, you know, want to spend more time there. Um, I don't live there anymore. I live in the US, um, but I do go back and visit. So anyways, that was part of my year. For this painting, I wanted to do, it's a little silly maybe, but I've already started doing it and it makes a huge difference and that is having fresh flowers in my house. You know, after I painted that first painting of the teapot, which you'll see it later, you can also see a zoomed in picture on my Instagram, it's just not my best artwork, it's not my favorite painting I've done. I've also kind of not really painted for the past couple years, which is painful. Um, and just like with anything, you kind of have to relearn aspects of it take some time and it's really hard to be patient with yourself. I'm a huge fan of trust the process, but sometimes a painting just sucks. <laughs> and I, I know that's such a weird thing to say. And it's not like any one artist's artwork sucks. It's like sometimes we paint things, we know it's not our best work and that's okay. Like I don't have any problem starting over, but a rule I do have for myself is to see it all the way through or as much of the way through as possible. It's okay if you're not feeling inspired by something you're doing. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place with this video. Um, clearly I haven't done this in a while, but that's okay. <laughs> so far, I've loved having fresh flowers in my room. It's not really something I've done before. I will say lilies are very, very dusty. And I think it's the scent, even though it's amazing. My room does not have a lot of ventilation, so the daisies I have, or not daisies, what am I saying, lilies I have in my room are um, very potent. So maybe I'll opt for roses or something like these peonies. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying. By the way, in case you care about the technical aspects of this painting, um, I think the reason that I have so much trouble being patient is because, well, I'm a very impatient oil painter. So I really do a lot of a la prima work, meaning all within the first go, basically. Um, I don't like layering. And if I do layer, I do really thin layers at the beginning. I do think you can achieve really complex, deep oil paintings without having to layer. And so I kind of challenge myself to do that. But as you can see, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, for things like cityscapes, I've always liked using acrylics more because they dry faster, but that's one of my goals for the year is to do more professional courses so I can actually learn how to do things like what I did to learn how to paint trees. Um, and so I ended up just opting to do something like this. So my original goal had been, you know, go out and see the city more or like go out and find a new city that I'd like to live in. But that's not really a goal of mine, I guess, anymore, um, between when I made that goal and when I decided to paint this picture. So instead I replaced it with trees because the goal is to spend a lot more time outside in nature. Um, I have a lot of beautiful parks accessible to me and I think sometimes I forget that or I think that I need to, you know, have people to go with. I think all of my friends would love to go to parks, but I do like to be alone in nature sometimes. 
again, all over the place, don't really know what I'm saying. Some of, This is just how it's going to go, so I hope you're okay with it. Um, but yeah, I did learn from, I don't think it was a master class, maybe Skillshare, how to paint like impressionist trees, and I just love it. I love it. I love the yellows that come out in the highlights and the reds that come out in the shadows. I think painting something that I was comfortable with kind of helped me get my confidence back um, a little bit as I was going through this. So the flowers, the trees, I felt a little better about those. Didn't feel great about the rest of my work. So I painted this beach because I do have plans to go to Greece this year. Yeah, things like this, I just, I feel like I used to just be able to nail it. And now it takes a lot more effort for me to paint. Human anatomy, hands. I love painting hands. Um, I love painting light reflections, like in a wine glass. I didn't even really film this one for very long because it just wasn't my favorite. And that's okay. Um, again, this is something you can see more up close on my Instagram and I'll show how it looks at the end of the video. But just want you to know it's okay to not be super thrilled with your artwork. The point is, is I did like how this all came together cohesively in the end. You know, it's not something that I'm going to be putting on display. I mean, I guess I'm putting it on display on the internet, but it's not going to be hanging, you know, in my living room. It's going to be in my closet, maybe, so I can see it every day. It's just something to remind me of what I want from this year. And I definitely want, like, peace and happiness and... I think I can get a lot of that from painting, so it's okay if this isn't going to be the most perfect work I've ever done, but it's kind of the the fact that I even painted it, I think, will, will help inspire me enough to keep me going this year um, with my artwork. Oh my goodness, that was like the biggest tangent. I literally don't remember what I was talking about. Dog, this is a dog. I would love to have a dog this year. I think for me, like as much as I love vision boards and I'll probably always make them, they've always come true for me um, because I work really hard towards the future. But I think sometimes we can get so caught up in amb ambition and our goals for the future and wanting to build our perfect future that we forget that like right now is the future that we once wanted. Like right now I have the job I once dreamed of and I have the friends that I wanted to be around and the home that I wanted to live in and the city that I've always wanted to live in. Like we're living in some of our very own dreams right now and I think that's easy to forget. So as much as I love a vision board and I'm happy that I painted it this year, I'm very excited to kind of let go of some of that extreme ambition that I've had and just kind of like exist. So yeah. That's my vision board. I'm excited to be back. I've got a lot of things that I've got planned um, and not in like the weird YouTuber way, like I actually do and I've actually already started painting some of them and I'm really excited to get good again because painting is like the one thing in the world that I feel like really, really at peace doing. So I hope some of you feel the same and I'm really excited to be back and let's have a really really amazing 2024. I'll see you in the next video.